okay? All right, first of all, do you lay there like Mike Tyson knocked you out cold? No. Get on your feet. Okay, you gotta have a, you gotta have a base, all right? So keep them up there, keep them firm, and they're on, that's your base, all right? Now from this point, what we want to do here, we want to get out from trouble and put him into trouble. First of all, you gotta get out of trouble. Like Gary said before, first thing, get out of trouble, all right? So what he's gonna do, he's gonna do basically a, a bridge and roll escape. He's gonna come back, get top position, and go straight into a rolling knee ball, okay? So I'll let him take it from here, but this is what's gonna happen here. Okay, so step one, whenever you're trying to get out of one of these positions, my hands are on his hips. I'm not worried about his face or his arms because if I start doing, you know, stuff like this, that's when he grabs my arm and he puts me in an arm lock, okay? So for an arm lock guy, that's Christmas. So don't do that. Keep your hands in his hips because where his hips go, he's gonna go. Where his shoulders go, not so much, okay? Right? But if I have hands on his hips, I can get him moving a lot easier. And it's super safe if he rears up and he tries to get me in something in response. So the other thing I'm gonna do is if I try and bridge and roll with his hips and it doesn't work, I'm gonna get a little bit dangerous, but I know I'm gonna finish with an attack. So I don't worry about this so much. I'm gonna bridge and then I'm gonna hook as he comes back down to try and sit on me, okay? I keep him right here. Don't let your hand come back down because then it's trapped here and I'm in an even worse position, okay? So bridge, catch, okay? My hand's still here. One point, guys, when you're doing that knee hook, scoop that in as tight as you can. Palm, see how his palm's up, don't just let it hang. Cup that in as tight as you can. Now, he's got him, okay? You wanna be in that position. It kinda pulls his knee in and traps it a little more too, so you wanna be there. Okay, right. just uh, you know, add that. Okay, now since I have this leg, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna grab a high point. I like to grab all the way across and try and grab his neck or like his far ear. <laughs> no. um, John Saylor would like that. Yeah. Fish up the ear. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> I think I got that from If I can't get that, I'm gonna just grab this shoulder, okay? So I've got something high to pull that way, okay? So as soon as I get that, I bridge and roll and I pull and push, okay? I'm still nice and low, so he's gonna have trouble immediately slapping on the triangle. You can put your elbow down, okay? So I can hold him here like this, because this is nice and tight to my shoulder. It's not up here, right? Because then he's gonna triangle me. It's down here, in between my bicep and my forearm, and I'm still grabbing him with a meat hook, okay? Now as soon as I, I figure I've got him flat and I've got him controlled, okay, hand comes back into, the hip. Pop back. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> no Eric's not wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case anybody wanted to know. Okay, now I've got that, that knee there. The hand in the hip keeps him from popping his hips up into a triangle as I'm coming back and also holds him down so I can easily pop that knee up. So and that, that shin is important, guys. And right in there, put it literally in his crotch. And, and you can see it's better if he has a cup on, yeah. but if he doesn't, sorry, man. Sorry. But that really. What's, what is Eric on the bottom thinking about now? Yeah. Boy, that hurts, <laughs> okay? That's all he's thinking about. Was well, it a guy or a gal, you know? Now, we've diverted his mind into other, other places. Now he can start doing it. Go ahead, right. sorry. And even if they're not thinking, ow, that hurt, they're thinking he's passing. But I'm not gonna pass, I'm gonna sit through like his leg is a pole, just swing around here and then go in for the straight knee bar, okay? Sit through, come back around, Okay, notice how I'm facing opposite way, and this foot yeah. is right there, okay? This, this is the knee that was up. It's nice and tight. All I did was I tried to pass it around and point it the exact opposite direction. Keep your foot flexed against that hip, because this now blocks his thigh from coming forward, which makes it a tougher knee bar, okay? This leg stays back there. See how curls? Grips. Really important. He's pulling him in. Again, earlier we were talking about staying around. Look, Derek is round, and see how he's curling in here. That really makes, it's gonna make that leg lock hurt more, and he's controlling his lower extremities more. Notice he's also on his side, he's not on his back. Some guys roll onto their back, don't do that. You wanna be on their side, on your side, so you can get that arch and straight, straight. It's basically Juju Gitami on the, on the leg. Yeah. That's what it is. And another reason why we're on our side is that, and Steve covered this, but 
more to the point. See how much farther back I can go? It doesn't matter how bendy he is, it's eventually gonna get to the point where my shin blocks his thigh and I pull his lower leg up here. If I'm flat on the ground, okay, that's you it. only go so far. That's all I got, yeah. Yeah. okay? Unless I've got super strong hips and I can sky high him, but this is way better. I on also my add here, notice what he's doing. You're not grabbing with your hands. Derek's not, he's hooking, he's meat hooking. Hook, you get more control by hooking, catching <coughs> it on your body, trapping it in this way and isolating it. Because now that leg is on that torso, on Derek's torso, instead of trying to pull it to him, he can use the weight of his body, the strength of his body to arch and get the tap. Okay. So that's, there are, again, we talk a lot of little things. It just doesn't happen by accident. You, you know, that's why we come and train. We work on these small points. We make sure he slaps the man on. Okay, one more time, then we'll let you practice. So one more time, straight through. Okay, so again, bridge up, catch, catch. Okay, nice and low, hand on hip. Okay, pop up, knee in the crotch. Okay, slide around through. If you've got a pose to do it, fine. But honestly, just try and slip through and it'll be quicker and tighter. My arm's still in the same position it was before. Hook, and there you go. It's a, it's a very tight knee bar if you use your arms and not your hands. Because again, my shin is blocking his hip and his thigh. I don't want to use my hands and do it that way. Whatever fighting game you're in, uh, this is ideal for Sambo. This is where I first picked this up. This is a, an old Sambo move I first picked up. We modified to some degree over the years to make it really even better. But that's what that's where I first learned it. So whatever these things come from, they work. But this is a great escape from the bottom to get out of trouble, to get him into trouble. Okay? All right, let's work on it and we'll move on.